I'm something of an expert on elusive creatures. So I challenged myself to find President Biden in New Hampshire during this primary season. I thought I was good at hiding. So I asked around, have you seen Joe? It's an ad by Democratic presidential candidate and Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips, mocking President Biden, who hasn't been seen in New Hampshire since his last official visit in April of 2022. All eyes will be on New Hampshire Tuesday as voters cast the first ballots in the nation's first primary of the 2024 presidential election. There's been heavy focus on the Republican side as former President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley duke it out for the Granite State's delegates. However, on the Democratic side, the Democratic incumbent, President Joe Biden, will not be on the ballot. 21 other Democrat candidates will be. But there are zero delegates at stake. And this all has to do with the Democratic National Committee's new rules for 2024. The DNC, under pressure from President Biden, declared South Carolina would be the first official primary for Democrats. However, New Hampshire refused to budge, citing a state law that its contest must be held seven days before any other primary. So Biden elected to skip the primary, choosing to not even campaign there and to not have his name placed on the ballot. The DNC even deemed the New Hampshire contest meaningless and declared no delegates would be up for grabs this time around. New Hampshire's Republican governor fighting back against those decisions, saying in a statement, after Joe Biden and the Democratic Party tried and failed to strip New Hampshire of its first in the nation presidential primary, they are now so worried that Joe Biden will suffer further embarrassment that they have called our primary meaningless. New Hampshire voters have always turned national expectations on their head. This year will be no different, whether Joe Biden and the DNC like it or not. Other Democratic candidates who will appear on the ballot Tuesday, such as Dean Phillips and Marianne Williamson, call the DNC's decision voter suppression. The Democratic Party should be investing in democracy, promoting debate, promoting candidates, and promoting voters. It should be you, the people of, of New Hampshire, the people of every other state, should decide who is the best Democratic nominee. Over the last several months, there's been a sizable grassroots effort by Democratic volunteers to get independents and Democrats to write in Biden's name on the ballot in New Hampshire. And now voters are receiving robocalls with a fake President Biden voice encouraging voters not to vote at all in New Hampshire's primary on Tuesday. NBC News obtained a copy of that fake robocall. We know the value of voting Democratic when our votes count. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. At this time, it's unclear who is behind the robocalls. Phillips and Williamson are hoping the write-in effort will fail as they're seeking to gain some notoriety heading into the South Carolina primary.